While Apple finally did update the base model of the iPhone to 32 GB, if you tend to shoot a lot of 4K videos and play some games, chances are you're gonna find that just enough. Maybe. Hi, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and in this video we'll be talking about the 10 ways that you can use to free up space on your iPhone. However, do note that if you have very low free space on your iPhone like we do, chances are you might notice some fluctuation in the amount of free space that you get. Don't worry though, it's totally normal and it's just because as soon as you get free space on your device, iOS starts to download the stuff that it had queued due to lack of free space. So without further ado, let's get going. The first and perhaps the most effective trick involves renting a movie on iTunes. Confused? <laughs> well, I'm not suggesting that you watch a movie and forget your storage issues. Let's see what this trick is all about. Let's check the available space on my device first. Okay, now we'll go to the iTunes Store app and look for a movie that is larger than the available space on the iPhone. Lord of the Rings seems to work for everyone. Tap on the Rent option. Confirm by tapping on Rent HD Film. You will be asked to use your Touch ID or your password. Once this is done, try to download the movie to your phone. Since your iPhone doesn't have sufficient space, the download will fail. Simply tap on settings in the alert displayed on your phone and check your storage. As you can clearly see, it has increased quite a bit. You can even repeat this process multiple times and get a lot of storage back. Just make sure that the movie you select has a bigger file size than the available storage on your device. Moving on to the second tip, if you use Google Maps, chances are you have offline maps saved for a lot of places that you visit or have visited in the past. These offline maps take up a lot of space and deleting them can make a huge difference to the available storage on your iPhone. Open the Google Maps app on your iPhone and tap on the hamburger icon. Tap on offline areas. Delete the offline areas that you don't use or don't need anymore. Once you have done this, you will see an immediate increase in the available space on your iPhone. On number 3, while listening to podcasts can be really entertaining, they too take up a lot of space when downloaded to your iPhone. A single 40 to 50 minute podcast can take up to 83 megabytes of space on your phone. So all those downloaded podcasts that you have on your phone, the ones you'll probably never listen to again, it's time to delete them. Go to the settings app and navigate to general storage and iCloud usage. Locate the podcast app on the list and tap on it to reveal the downloaded podcasts. Tap on edit in the top right corner and delete the ones that you don't need. On to the fourth tip now, there are some apps like Snapchat and Instagram that accumulate a lot of data over time and all this data is saved on your iPhone. I have actually seen the Snapchat app reach over 500 MB in storage data and that's for my relatively less frequent use of the app. If you try and delete app data from within the app, it still doesn't make much of a difference. The only way out then is to delete the app and reinstall it. Don't worry though, any save charts that you have will not vanish. First, go to settings, then general and on to storage and iCloud usage. Tap on manage storage and then find Snapchat in the list and see how much space it is taking. On your home screen, tap and hold on the Snapchat app icon. Press the X on the icon to delete it. Once done, simply reinstall the app and see how the space it was taking earlier has been reduced. This isn't one of the cleanest ways to free up space on your iPhone, but as they say, desperate times call for desperate measures. On number 5, let's talk about offline videos on YouTube. The feature is actually a useful one, however, Videos saved for offline viewing are saved locally and take up a lot of space. So why not delete the videos that you don't need saved any longer? After all, there's only so much data that your iPhone can hold. Simply launch the YouTube app on your iPhone. Tap on the account icon on the far right. 
scroll down and tap on offline videos. From the list of saved videos, delete the ones that you don't need any longer. By doing just that, you will be able to free up a lot of space on your iPhone. Next up is a Safari related tip. If you like me, add a lot of links to your reading list on a daily basis, chances are the size of your offline reading list is more than 100 MB easily. So why not clear this up? After all, clearing the offline reading list doesn't remove the links from your phone, it just deletes the downloaded content, so you won't be able to read them offline. Inside the storage and iCloud usage menu, tap on Safari, tap on edit and tap the minus icon next to offline reading list to clear it off. Moving on, thanks to the iCloud music library, we have access to all of our music on every device. And we can choose to download the songs that we want to be saved on our iPhones. However, more often than not, we save more songs than we listen to, which can be a big storage hog. Let's delete some of that music, shall we? Inside the storage and iCloud usage menu, tap on manage storage. Tap on music. On the top right, tap on edit and then simply tap the minus icon next to the artist whose song you want to remove from your iPhone. This only removes the local copies of the songs from your iPhone. Your music in the cloud will remain there so you can stream it anytime or download it again. On number 8 is another music related tip. While the last tip had you deleting the songs of your music library, this method is even better. Once you do this, if your iPhone is low on space, it will automatically remove music that you haven't played in a while. In the settings app, scroll down and tap on music. Scroll down further, tap on optimize storage and toggle the switch to on. Next up, if you use iBooks to read ebooks on your iPad or Mac, chances are that the ebooks are automatically synced to your iPhone as well. While ebooks are usually not too large in size, a lot of them can slowly accumulate to occupy a large amount of your precious storage space. Simply open iBooks and tap on select in the top right. Once you have selected all the ebooks that you don't need on your iPhone, simply tap on delete. Choose remove download to ensure that the books still remain in iCloud and can be accessed again if needed. If you do have a 16GB iPhone and like taking a lot of pictures, this tip can come in handy for you. What this does is that when your iPhone is running low on space, full resolution images and videos will be replaced by lower resolution versions, ensuring that they occupy less space. Don't worry, the full resolution images and videos will be available on iCloud and can be downloaded back to your iPhone easily. Launch settings, scroll down to find photos and camera and tap on it. Check the option that says Optimize iPhone Storage. Apart from the tips I discussed above, there are a couple of other things that you can try to free up some storage space on your iPhone, such as deleting messages or simply setting them to automatically delete after a set period of time. You can also try deleting Safari web history and cache and see if that makes any difference to your available storage. As a last resort, you can always restore your iPhone to factory settings and get a completely clean phone again. Well, those were the easiest and most effective ways to free up space on your iPhone. I hope this video helped you reclaim some space and if it did, make sure you hit that like button. We'll be coming back with more cool tech videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and get ready for some great content. Well, that was all from our side and I'll see you in the next one.